day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. To justify, justify the injustice that yeah. was put upon them. So exactly. it's 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 amazing when you look at that, and then you go back, and then I always think on a global aspect, what is it that the people of color have that the enemy is always putting us in these positions with those who are with his kind. Exactly. And what I'm saying is those who are, are subject to the God of this world is always influencing these people to unjustly treat people of color, no matter where they are in this world. Exactly. What, what is that? What is, what is that? They were humble. And they could be justified, right? Like you said, always justifying they that their their behavior said that person deserves it. And and now Ella, I did want to catch you a little bit. So you said we sometimes people like to put us all in that one box, right? Because so that's what they're really trying to do. Is when when a black person does it, all of us Yes, stereotype. Stereotype. That's and I, stereotype. I, I, and, right. and I, had, I had to treat, okay, I'm going to get you out. I'm going to get you. But you know, I said, I ran into one of the guys, one of my uh, co-workers that was, I don't work with him all the time, but he was in the, in the room. And he was he was sitting there saying is, he don't have to worry about the police doing something to him because he doesn't do, he doesn't cause those problems, right? He, <laughs> and, and, and you know, and I said, you know, and I, I just quickly said, well, neither do I, right? I mean, I, I don't do that either. So uh -huh. that, doesn't, that has nothing to do with the behavior of the of the abuse. Well, and, 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 add, and I think you need that, to add on a qualifier to that. Yeah. I don't do these things <clears throat> in in skin that is pigmented to be dark. Right. That, that, right. That's what he needs to say. Yeah. Because yeah. without adding that to it, it doesn't apply to you. Exactly. When, when you're talking to me, it don't apply to me. It doesn't exactly. filter to me. Right. The, the, I, if, I, if you're I, not I, of I, color and say that. I, I, was, I was really examining that because that, that was a great conversation because it kind of puts all things in context as far as our conversation is concerned right now. Um, this people identified as slaves in the United States of America were oppressed. Mm -hmm. They were humble. They, they, like like Israel, they were put in a, in a furnace of fire that really humbled them and called them to call upon the name of their God. Right. Pretty repetitious stuff, you know. Israel was in bondage. She called upon God. He delivered her. He showed her favor. He raised her up. She thought I was stupid again. She goes back in the bondage. It's the same cycle that Blacks in America are experiencing right now. I had to determine, because we talked about this on Pastor Taylor last week and maybe week before. Uh, how do we say, because we're such a diverse people, what is the commonality among us? Yeah. Now, I was told that initially when we, we, we came to America, we were slaves because of pigmentation. Uh, it was easy to identify the property and also the language. So the language united us, the religion, Christianity, which was taught to us, united us, and our black skin, and whatever degree of blackness it is, or pigmentation it is, united us. Yeah. I tried to find out what is the common element now that we have progressed beyond it. The laws that are on the books are the things that cause us to have the same common element now. Because the same amendment that gives you the right to vote is the same amendment that gives me the right to vote. Right. And those, as long as those laws are on the books, as long as that 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 that, that amendment has to be placed in there and voted on, you know, periodically to continue to give us certain privileges in the nation, then we can be identified as those people. <laughs> and, and that is how the nation perceives us, even though we may not perceive ourselves as such. Right. If you go to the poll on voting day, there's a law that says you can vote because of because of the way you look. You gotta have this amendment in place in order for you to be able to cast a ballot. And they're fighting to take those off the books. As we saw last time. So as long as the nation or society can identify us as a group, 
then we're going to be dealt with in accordance with that society perspective or the, regardless of how we see our, each other or ourselves. The beauty of it was that we were humble and we had place with God and we were elevated even under the, the rough bondage that we experienced, the Jim Crow, the slavery, the whole nine yards, the diseases, the trips, the plague, all, everything that happened, we survived just like Israel. But when we rose, we rose the plague. <laughs> When we arose, we arose to turn away from the God that had delivered us through all the bondage. And we, and I say we, uh, it, it says that we identify ourselves, not all of we, but but see, but then we will be treated than, by the society the same. But no different than than Israel. Yeah. Not Christ all came. of Israel. Faith, faith, faith came. Uh -huh. Yeah. That, that's the difference. Yeah. That that's that that is that is the cutoff. Faith came. Christ came right. and changed it all. So all that stuff can be wiped away yes. with a choice. Yes. And that yes. choice is not yourself. Don't not choose yourself. yourself. Right. Do not choose yourself. <laughs> that, that is the choice. Yeah. Choose yourself or choose Christ. That there, There's one thing. Yeah. Yeah. When we look at the nation, the nation in itself has a us and a them, because it was them that conquered the nation. It's them that holds the nation in place through lies, deceit, and whatever they have to do. You know, we're talking about the power base of, of, of the country, and it's identifiable. Most of them are not people of high pigmentation. Yeah, well, you, know what I'm you can say that about this world. You can yes, go to every right? continent and say that. So that 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 is a power that is limited, as far as I'm concerned. Extremely the, 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 the source that I'm looking to is the source that got me dwelling in the midst of all this. Right. And, and, and this so, is, so this it is, keeps me and it and it and it and, and it, it it restores my soul when I, I, I start to get you know overwhelmed. I mean it's just so much in this. But uh what we look the, you know the, we look at give, the, the restoration is not for our soul. The restoration is actually the minister to the needs of those who oppressed us. Right. Well, it's for us, but in, in, in receiving it, it's for everyone. You know, <laughs> it, once once you once you join this army, then your fight is for everyone. The oppressed people in this nation are in a position that's a beautiful position because forgiveness is in our hands the oppressed people, and also the right to minister, the ability to minister on behalf of other people is not hand. The, the seed of the wicked, the seed of the wicked should not inherit. No. When people are good, when people are innocent, you can't go to a person who's already a criminal and ask for, you know, absolution. I mean, you have to go, the, the people who best represent Christ right now, as a people again, are in position to represent Christ, may be the same folk that were oppressed by this nation. This nation has a host of folk in it. Said I can make a, you a, a peculiar people. You're a peculiar people, a nation of kings and priests. Right. Our job is not to only intercede on behalf of the black folk in America, but it's to be intercede on behalf of our, our white brothers who have oh. been deceived. Right, but that we said. I mean, deceived and, and, and thinking that Satan got something going on. Satan lost. The right. devil lost. Right. Satan lost. And, 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 and for those who are falling under that that deception, their children are being lost. Said the seed of the wicked shall not inherit. Right. I mean, if be not deceived, God is not mocked whatsoever man shall sow, that shall be also. If you are out there doing evil, evil is going to find you out. So right. I look at the brother that killed this young man on the streets, and, 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 and now he's in jail. I can only imagine what his lifestyle is like, but what it's going to be like for the next rest of his life on the planet. But then there's, there, 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 there is for him an assurity if he does not repent of an eternity in hell. Right. So people aren't just, you know, dying, dissipating, and going into the air. Folks are committing evil deeds and dying and going to hell. And that's what, that's what, the, the, whole, the thing has been lost from the scenario. We have totally lost the concept of the fact that it's the eternal judgment. Yeah. You guys yeah. might be doing stuff that's an atrocity in this earth, but that's where it ends at. Yeah. For you, your bad, they just started when you leave this planet. Yeah. And it doesn't end from that point forward. And they're not being preached to like that. I saw they're being taught hatred. They want to propagate and perpetuate this racism and this 
<laughs> all these isms and evils that men have been practicing since the dawn of time. We have totally discounted God and his judgment in the earth, and he's showing it to us every day. You cannot continue to perpetuate evil. It is going to have repercussions even in the earth. And if you die like that, you're going to die and go straight to hell. Now, the, are they our neighbors or not? Yeah, that's, that's, that becomes the question, are they our neighbors or not? Well, we'll see, the they, they, they are your neighbor, and, and, and because they're in that fallen state, does it stop us exactly. from proclaiming the gospel yeah. of Jesus Christ right. unto death, right. physical? Amen, man. And, and, and that is this, because it is inherent that we are prosecuted. I mean, if you're not being prosecuted, are you really a <laughs> disciple of Jesus Christ? Right. Those are the you know, are, 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 are you, I, I think we, we, we get a pass with society from being prosecuted because we pick and choose when to be disciples. Yeah. And I'm just being, I'm just being honest. I'm, talk, I'm, I'm talking that's about true. Myron right now. Yeah, that's true, too. For a lot I'm of talking about <laughs> Myron. They're, they're, I, I come up on a situation and uh, immediately there's a choice. You know, do, do I choose Myron or do I choose Christ? You know, who am I going to let take the lead in these encounters with people? And so, uh, even yesterday, I I, uh, I uh, had that I had that that come come to mind. We were on the golf course. These people, these young kids, uh, hit their ball, even though we were still within range of them, and they did it on purpose, knowing that they could have hit us. And the ball actually almost hit hit us. It came right into the midst of the group I was in. So immediately uh that man that i buried started digging himself up out of the ground <laughs> it's cold down there <laughs> i mean that that old man just started rising up man and i'm like yeah. and the first thing that came out of my my mouth was man i hadn't thrown these hands in so long i wonder how they gonna work because <laughs> because i was really about to go over there and confront these young kids and uh but i did it and so and and right after that i realized that's my name and but but at first when it first happened myron responded but they just wasn't close enough for me to to go into action but because there was a period to where i can focus back on my my new nature right then it was exposed and and so then i i, I just let it go yeah. it kept coming back right. but i kept letting it go right. <laughs> every right. time i saw him you know the first thing in my mind go address this but i did <laughs> uh -huh. and even when i was done i was like because they were behind us i was like well we're done and the first thing that came out of my mouth was, should I wait in the parking lot for them to come so I can confront them about what they did? Right. right. And, and, so, and so we get back to this concept of discipleship, right? What is Jesus telling us to do? What example does he want us to manifest? And that becomes, the, that's the whole crux of the thing right there. Because we, we right, right now, for, for the most part, because of our studies now, time that we put in now we got a pretty good idea of who Jesus is and what his life style was like what he did and how he corrected the issues right. now the question comes in am I going to be a true disciple of Christ or am I going to kind of like do this hard part and do the world system and then put it together now I know that that's been done already and to some level great extremes but on a personal note am I going to walk in this newness of life am I going to walk this in this newness of love Am I going to avail myself of, of the riches of the kingdom? Am I going to lay hands on the sick and open and, and, and heal them? Am I going to open blinded eyes? Am I going to raise the dead? I, 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 am I going to, you know, go to a certain extent where I can say, okay, well, I'm, I ain't doing that. I'm going to have to trade this out because I got to, I got to point this guy in the face or shoot this person. You know what I'm saying? Right. There's a trade-off, and that was the thing that kind of, I, 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 I might. It appears to me there's a trade-off. If you go whole hog, you got to go whole hog. But once you go in, 
all that's revealed to you from the cross is now made privy to you. The laying on the hands, the raising of the dead, the healing of the sick, your own personal health, all these angelic protections and all these things. Now we are made privy to all of this because of our total commitment to the God that we serve. Right. If we don't go all in, we're never going to see the manifestation of this. You think about Paul, Paul got beat a lot. Uh -huh. But cloth taken off of Paul's body, uh -huh. heal folk. Paul praying for folk, heal folk. Paul raised up from the dead. He gets stoned to death. And then he kissed him and walked back into the city. We were going to, so all the manifestations, all the dynamics of being a citizen of the kingdom were right there with Paul. He received great, 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 great gifts and powers, but he received them with persecution. And doesn't he tell us the same thing? Now, now in, in, in that, Paul wasn't seeking to demonstrate signs. Paul, yeah, you know. Paul did not exist to, to demonstrate signs following. Signs no, just no. follow. That's you know it, what I'm exactly. saying? That, we, that's we, legit, this, right? This, this, this generation, even Jesus says, look for signs. You know, and 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 there won't be none. That's that's what Jesus said. Not from him. When you talk to the when you talk to the, the, the scribes and the Pharisees, yes. right? Yes. And so and, and likewise, there are some people who will not accept this outside of that. But it's not for us to try and flow in signs. We just flow and the signs will follow. There you go. If, if you know what I'm saying. So mm -hmm. we, we live this life in love and the signs will follow. They, they come after us. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So we, it, they come after sharing the gospel. You share the gospel, then the signs follow the gospel. The That's signs true. follow the love. They don't come before the love. You don't you don't preach the sign. Woo! Come on, brother. You preach the love, and come then the on. signs come. So out, out of that, that preaching, the, those who will receive it will present themselves as living sacrifice now you're preaching and in that now comes preaching. the signs to follow there because the faith is there to produce it yep and, and, and that's evidence by the way your, your lifestyle right. that's and evidence that's by what you're preaching how you dealing with your enemy how you dealing with your neighbor that's evidence by that and the rest of the stuff right. comes in the wake of it right and that is where yeah, it's almost like this God stamp approval on us. He said that then. He said, go you forth into all the world, preach the gospel to every creature. Blase, blase, and these signs shall follow them that believe. Yes. First preach the gospel, first live the gospel, manifest the gospel, and then the rest of this stuff is going to just come in the wake of that. It's not, it's not, it's almost like you don't seek first the sign, but the sign just comes with everything that you get from the jump. There, once we, once the love of God is operating in us, uh -huh. It, and that's going to be evidenced by the love that we show for each other, it's the, the love. love that we show for our enemies. It's it's the love, love. That you, and that's that's man, that's a powerful it's statement. The love. So, that's so a look, at, statement. look, look at the Samaritan. The Samaritan showed love. That's what I'm talking and about. And then signs followed. That's what I'm talking about. Signs followed after the love that man was tended to. That that that's a signs followed. Come on. So now 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 it's time we have within our, our grasp. To do the will of God, uh, we can actually intercede now on behalf of our enemies. All those people that have have have, have committed atrocities whose souls are not in danger. Look, man, y'all need to come out of that because y'all gonna die and go to hell. We know the things that you did, the children, whatever it was you did, they either dead or alive, they either in Christ with Christ or away from. But you have a you have an opportunity to save your immortal soul. Yeah. And we want to extend the opportunity to you. We, we can't go back and undo what was done, but we don't want the devil to get two for one. Right. Yeah, I'm not looking. We don't want the world's justice in, in, in a sense. What we want is mercy. So we're going to ask God, who has already died for your your transgression, that He you receive Him and receive eternal life. Exactly. Man, the question is that hard? <laughs> is that difficult? It, it, it's it's not it's not difficult. It's not hard. It is. It's impossible. Preach, man. It's impossible because if you're doing it by your effort, it is impossible. 
You Amen. can't. You cannot share this gospel within yourself. Oh, yeah. Only through love, only through Christ, only, only through God. God can this gospel be shared to be effective. Now, there's times when people are at the end of themselves and they're seeking God and, and that opportunity presents itself but to actually just go forth, you have to just do it in love. And, and I think that's why Paul says, I am not ashamed of the gospel. Come on, Come on now. Yeah. Amen, man. And, 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 and so that, that boldness yes. because of the love that he had Come on. For, for, for those that he even despised at a time in his life. Wow. And for those that despise him. Yes. So, yep. which is also why I think his ministry was abroad. Because yeah. <laughs> I don't think he would have had too much of a chance to exist I <laughs> where he off. was persecuting people. So, you know, God is God is an awesome God and he knows man. Yes. Yeah. He That's knows man's capabilities. And so, Paul was put in an area to where right, <laughs> he right. could be effective because how you gonna how you gonna minister to somebody that you just killed their brother or their sister or they <laughs> they yeah. cousin, you know, yeah. and then you're gonna come right back and talk about right. I, I love you right. like God loves you. Yeah. <laughs> that ain't gonna work. Who gonna right. hear it? That's why no. he was I believe that's why he was sent off. Right. But that was the oh, no. Paul was hated Paul. by everybody. Right. Yeah. So, you know, it's it's it's, it's you got to be used with with where God sends you, yeah. and you got to be available. But uh, how did Paul shift? How did Paul get recognized as a missionary? How did Paul get recognized as someone that they should listen to the Christians? Right? How did they start looking at him as not a threat? when he was first recognized as a friend. How, what happened? What did Paul do? Or what did God do? What did Paul The first thing, Paul started killing folks. <laughs> that, that's the first thing. So that's the first thing. Yeah. Phase yeah. Phase his, his nature did change. <laughs> yeah, his, his, yeah. his, they saw, they saw this, the, the love of God yes. in him. Yep. They, they saw, the when, when they saw him, when they first saw him, they saw Saul. Yes. yes. But once they, once they, yeah, Mr. Murray. once they fellowship with him, they saw Paul. They saw Christ. They witnessed Christ. They they saw it with him. Their spirit bear witness with his. Uh -huh. And so, no different than uh, someone that you may have partied with or may have partied with you. When you encounter them, you notice a difference, and they notice a difference in that person right off the bat. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know your your nature changes. You you become Christ-like. Come on, that's that's so, what he wants us to do to show and see Christ-like is showing mercy-like. Yeah, right. And so if we show mercy. That's what we people are going to see. But if we show judgment, if we show condemnation. We show that 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 hate. That's what we get. And, it's and you the know, compassion. Yes. That's what that's what the, the the good Samaritan showed was compassion, concern for the sufferings and the misfortunes of others. That's what that yeah. that Samaritan showed, yeah. and that is how we are supposed to 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 walk. Compassion for us. You know, uh, that, that love reaches past vengeance. It Come reaches on. past retaliation. Exactly. It reaches past uh, uh, reaction. Right. It's a response. It's a, right. You're, you're responding to the love that has been shed abroad in you. You respond to that. Right. You know? And then, I guess, after a while, it becomes a reaction. Exactly. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, I wanted to throw that because I said it was two things going on here. You know that that educational piece is being introduced in society. I think it's called relative racism or something, relative reality, or 
or something in our history that they, they want to push it into schools of, of, of uh, talking about the history as it is from the perspective of of the slave of, 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 of reality yeah <laughs> right? and, and, and and you noticed that the, the the term putting back was this is uh communism uh this is making us be uh going to put it out as racist and and it is only talk about the truth right don't talk about the history but reality is that people don't want the past Otherness to to be ed taught to the people because now it paints them in a different light opposed to what they've been taught, right? Well, Pastor, this is this is the thing. They, they folks who 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 are are our white brothers and sisters. They they. They're quick to say, "Well, that's not me. Yeah, that's not my nature. That's not that my was history. that was the past." Uh huh. But when you say, "Okay, well, let's teach the past," <laughs> then now they feel connected to it. <laughs> I know. But if that's not you and that's not your mentality or your mindset, then why can't we just tell the truth about yeah. what happened back then? Why is it affecting you to the point to where you think it's not relevant? <laughs> and don't need to to learn from that. Some of them even cried. I saw someone go to school board and cry and said, "I am not a racist." Yeah. Now, what is this education telling you? We're not. Nobody said you are a racist. We tried to say that there was some racist yeah. things that happened. So they 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 recognize it and they feel convicted by it. Otherwise, they would never even be there. Exactly. Because the truth is the truth. The truth is the and truth. they would rather have a lie. lie than the truth. So who who is the father of lies and who are they trying to accustom themselves to be likened to? Right. That's a problem. I think and I think that's what's going on in our society is because the even the church is like, church, how could you allow the you know we talked one time before how how could a whole a city, a town burn somebody alive and Celebrate it, uh, Elder. How, how can how can somebody even cut people's skin off and, and sell it to? Yeah, I, how, it, 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 how it did. That's it? human nature. I mean, we, we can we can we can really take it back to the thought. It, it, it started in the Garden of Eden. When we fell and separated ourselves from God, our nature corrupted to the core. It's the heart is deceitful above all things and desperate to be it. And that's just one of the manifestations of that desperately, desperately wicked heart. Now, have we done stuff like that as a people? Oh, yeah, we've done stuff like that too. Uh, we don't do it on host as great as the grander scale in this environment because we don't have control of this environment. But somebody was passing the baby through the fire. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Back in the day, um, I mean, you sacrificing the God, the, the children to the, the, the Malik or whoever it was, but they were burning their children, supposed to be alive, and they were Canaanites. Uh, the practices of the Canaanites, and of course, with scripture, were so uh, so atrocious that God said, "We're gonna wipe these seven tribes off the face of the earth." Yeah, this is your job, Israel. This is your first job is going to be a clean clock on each one because of how evil they be. Yeah. Now. The, are they exclusive managers of right? No, no, they don't have rights to the evil. We all no, are evil from the core out. We are all evil from the core out. And that's the first thing that I really had to embrace is the, 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 the desperate, wicked state of mankind's heart. Yeah. We need a savior. Right. <laughs> we yeah. and, and, and we, and we, we're rightful, rightfully so. I used to always think, why was this people chosen? Well, it could have been any people. It could have been any people. Yeah. God just needed some people. <laughs> yeah. exactly. and, and, and is, you know, you, because you outside of, of him choosing a people, <laughs> sin that there was no check on sin. No. So he you had to that? hold some people to hold his 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 way yeah. of living, his yeah. way of life. And yeah. and, and to keep this, this group of people in check <laughs> until the fullness of time. <laughs> and,